Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Afola Shadi Ogurindi and here are the stories we are following at this time. Former Governors Adams Oshomole, Aminu Tambowal and Hamad Lawan, President of the 9th Senate, have been appointed Chairman of some standing committees at the Senate by Senate President Godzilla Akpabio. Akpabio named them and other chairmen of several committees after confirming 45 of the 48 ministerial nominees during the day's plenary session. Lawan was named the chairman of the Committee on Defence, while Oshomole is to head the Committee on Interior. The Nigerian Air Force NAF says it has destroyed three boats sighted at tapping crude oil from a pipeline at a dispensing site in River State. Edward Cabouet, director of NAF uh, Public Relations in a statement, said the operation was carried out via airstrikes on Saturday, August 5, 2023. He further disclosed that the air component of Operation Delta Safe executed the operation. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission is investigating allegations of corruption and abuse of office against the immediate past Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami. This was revealed in a memo dated July 19, 2023, and signed by the petition registrar ICPC. H.S. Falaromi, on behalf of the ICPC chairman, Bolaji Owasunoye. The memo was in response to a petition filed by the Human and Environmental Development Agenda, accusing the former HEF of corruption and high-handedness. Health officials are waiting to hear whether a small number of people in Northern Ireland have tested positive for the new variant of COVID-19. It is estimated that one in seven positive cases are the Aries variant, making it the second most prevalent variant in the UK. Aries is a descendant of Omicron and has been in the news amid a rise in COVID-19 cases, especially in England. Siemens Energy says plans to complete the revamping of Nigeria's power infrastructure would take an additional five years than originally planned due to delays caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Oladaya Orolu, Head of Business Development and Government Relations at Siemens Energy, disclosed this in an interview with Newsmen. In July 2019, the federal government signed a power project deal with the German engineering firm to deliver 7,000 megawatts of electricity to the national grid by 2021 and 11,000 megawatts by 2023. The second highest U.S. diplomat, Victoria Newland, says she has met with Niger's military leaders but made no immediate headway in reversing a coup. Newland, the acting deputy secretary of state, added that she met with Brigadier General Moussa Salel Bomo, who has been named the new military chief of staff and other leaders. However, the junta did not respond to a request to meet Niger's self-proclaimed new leader, General Abdurrahman Tiani, or the detained elected president, Mohamed Bazoum. In sports, Super Falcons coach Randy Wildrum has said his side were lucky against the English in the round of 16 match at Brisbane. English, uh, England uh, beat the Super Falcons 4-2 in the shootout after a tense last 16 tie finished 0-0 at the end of extra time. Niger's impressive run at the Women's World Cup may have come to an end, but the 56-year-old insisted their performances had made the football world sit up and take notice. And that's it on the newsroom to join us at the top of the hour for more stories. I am Fola Shadi Ogurinde. Bye for now.